Working as a pizza delivery boy, you'll run into a lot of strange things. However, this story may be an excessive example of that. I was 21 years old, and it was a late Friday night shift at John's Pizza, meaning I would be closing with my boss. It was about 9 o'clock, an hour before closing. My next delivery was to the Saugerties, the next town over. The drive wasn't too long, maybe 15 minutes. I was a bit confused. The map was taking me to an isolated road that seemed to lead to nothing. I drove down it anyway, and shortly realized it led to a house by the water. It seemed every light in the house was on. Upon getting closer, I could hear music blasting from inside the house even with my window shut. Strangely, there were only two cars parked in front of the house, at least from what I could tell. It was a pretty wide open property. The front of the house faced the water, so the road, or driveway I suppose, curved around to the front by the water. As I walked up to the front door, I took more notice to the fact that the house was like brand new. I then rang the bell a few times since the music was so loud. I was caught completely off guard when two women opened the door, one blonde and one brunette barely clothed. They had huge, flirty grins on their faces. The blonde woman grabbed the pizza while the brunette handed me a 20. I was about to ask where everyone was, but the brunette called me cute and asked me for my number. I thought I was about to get extremely lucky. After giving her my number, I was about to attempt at getting myself invited in, but the blonde immediately did that for me anyway. I entered the house and picked up on a rather unpleasant odor almost immediately and there were literally no people anywhere, but I didn't care that much. The two women began to lead me upstairs, but unfortunately, this story did not go in the direction you may have hoped it would. I was literally on the second step when a horrifying scream for help came from upstairs. I looked up there and then at the two women. They were looking at each other. The blonde one very clearly mouthed the word shit to the brunette. I didn't even really piece everything together at that moment, but I still just kind of instinctively knew to run. I must have looked back like 20 times before I was able to turn around the car and drive back down the long driveway. Looking back through the mirror, I shit you not, at each and every one of the windows in the house, there were heads peering out to me as I drove away. Of course, I called the police on my way back to work and told them to check the place out. They did, and some investigator guy called me back not even an hour later, telling me whoever was there abandoned the place and that, in fact, it was a brand new, just-built vacant house for sale. It didn't surprise me much. There was no party going on there. That same night, I got a text saying, we know where you work. That was enough to drive me to quit that job. Since I mentioned a possible victim upstairs to the police, they came to my house to ask a series of questions about the people. I have also had my number changed since then as I want no possible links to this incident, and I want to live with peace of mind.